Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, podcast world. Welcome to my channel. Today is 4-8-2021 at 10-34 a.m. And I'm just here to talk about drugs. Are you on them and why or why not? (laughs) But no, seriously though. I've come across a lot of drug heads, I guess I'll say. People that are on meth or aesthetic or just plain old fashioned high quality uh, weed with all its strenuous names that I've never heard of before. Oh, I got that new uh, Superman or I got that new Green Crack, OG Kush. Um, I got that new Cheech and Chong. I got, you know, oh, I got the stickiest of icky. You know, I don't know, man. Like, where are they getting these names from when it comes to drugs? And what is the mindset of someone who does drugs? Now, I'm going to go even further than that because I'm not downing my people who smoke weed. I mean, shout out to the states who are forward thinking and getting all that money off of marijuana sales like thank you thank you thank you what is that colorado california washington state um i think illinois and is uh oregon maybe either way it's about four or five different states uh you know the more liberal states or whatever so i know for sure california and colorado and washington state and oregon i i that, that general area up there in the northwest. So, hey, have at it. Those are places that if you go and you're on public transportation with something else that I don't really like, then you're going to be surrounded by someone who smokes some kind of weed. And I say some kind because you're probably bound to come off of that bus with a contact like you never had before, and you're going to be semi-high or low or whatever. Now, my thing is, me and my homo was talking the other day, a friend of mine, and he was talking about drugs are narcotics. You know, he was like, I'm not going to do anything that's narcotic based. If it said, if it's got narcotics in it, then I don't want to do it. He was like, I don't understand how you, you, let's say a white powdery, um, Epsom salty looking substance comes along and is in front of you and you say, I want to snort that or let me eat that or let me stick that in my arm, you know? Like, I don't understand the mindset of a drug user. I don't understand an addict. I don't understand those who say, oh, um, can't smoke real weed because I'm on probation or parole. Let me smoke this fake synthetic weed that's like potpourri oh yeah that's what it is let's smoke that thetic so i i don't understand you know the mindset of people who use drugs and i don't understand for me they they call it mood enhancers so i'm not really a big mood enhancer person i don't think that's uh for me um, you out of there on the mood enhancement situation. If if the mood enhancement, like whatever you're trying to do, requires you to stay up days at a time or sleep for days at a time, and it's causing you to have poor hygiene, your teeth falling out, and you're not washing your ass, that is an issue with me. So I would encourage you to please get help if you're out there. And they have um, several types of facilities, rehab and whatnot, um, that'll have you kind of saying the serenity prayer in no time. Um, If your thing is drinking, you're an alcoholic, 
uh, go for it. Please go find help. And if your thing is something much deeper that you're connected to an addiction like gambling, I salute the people who are out there and they have like their nymphos and they have like some sort of sex addiction. I, I'm, I'm personally all for procreation. Like, go for it. If that's what, if, if boning makes you feel good, if sex is what thing that makes you, that gets you off, go for it. it, it you're, you were designed to uh, to do that, you know. You were designed to enjoy that. But some of these things or whatever, especially if it's narcotic based, chemical based, um, whatever, most drugs come from plants. So when people make the statement of it's a plant guy put here for me, yada yada, talking about weed, that's one of the weed defense stories. I mean, so is cocaine. <laughs> and some people can argumentatively say so is sugar and so is caffeine. Like, these, these too much of anything. It doesn't matter if you are addicted to food. Uh, overeating is horrible too. It, it, it's going to take a toll on your body. Um, so anything that you do in excess is going to mess you up. Like, even if it's positive too much water it's too much water too much sleep it's too much sleep too too much exercise too much exercise like you gotta find a way to do everything you need in moderation but i much rather hear you say oh i want to drink water than oh i want to drink whiskey and here it is it's the middle of the day it just turned 12 o'clock noon so like they say People that do drugs usually have an excuse or find an excuse to the reason, not that they need it, that push to do some type of drugs or whatever. And then you have those enhancement smokers or drug users or whatever be like, hey, you ever done this and that on drugs? Or, no, <laughs> never done anything on drugs. I'm, I just feel like the D.A.R.E. program is failing us. I'll never forget my fifth grade year. I was so excited because I saw my brother and sister before me get to do it, and they come in there, and this, and I did to their program in 95. That was in the mid-90s, and that was like at the peak of when drugs were like crack, you know, that was the peak of the crack uh, thing or whatever, and it was like when people would say, oh, crackheads, hula hoop through a cheerio, and out of this, or they come in with that egg and be like, oh, this is your brain, this is your brain on crack, you know, brain on drugs and all that. I took that with me, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing that I'll never forget when they crack that egg, you know, they smash it, and they're like, oh, this is your brain on crack. I don't want my brain to be on crack. I don't want, you know, that's not something that I really want. So, I've always said, more or less, no to drugs. Now, I have experimented with marijuana, you know. I feel like uh, this day and age, who hasn't, you know, um, it's hard. But my thing also is age appropriate. Like, kids are starting to be doing drugs. Like, they ain't even old enough to drive, not even in middle school. And they're like nine years old out there doing drugs or smoking out of a bait pen or or whatever the case is. So, it's just a thought. Just something to put out there in the atmosphere. Yep. <laughs> so, with that being the case, please find help. The help that you need. Don't be a Rick James. <laughs> Don't let your life uh, bring you down with the power of cocaine. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. That's what Rick James said. <laughs> cocaine is a hell of a drug like like they, the narrator said why did y'all get us some help we did <laughs> beat his legs down to like they were like linguines <laughs> so um, this is me to you hoping to get the message out that maybe you will get the help you need when it comes to drugs that you're using narcotics you know um, even if it's you know, let me say, they say we use gateway, but I just don't really see how you could how you could decide to do some more hardcore drugs, especially like once you hear about people that died and fainted and 
Yeah, dehydrated or anything like that. So, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Please find help and bring world peace. Because uh, no one wants you to be out and being strung out and living off change on the street trying to support your habit. And I also would say that I'm tired of seeing people not giving their children a chance and smoking before the baby is born. Like, give it up for nine months, please. For your child has some sort of breathing disorder or some sort of disorder like asthma. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video.